Kwaak, ik kan me nog wel meer mannen Dat je. En before we start, even the Italian joker being played and the Swiss. Cosenza and Riva San Vizzardi. And I'll even the joker. Everybody is singing away in the background. Lovely atmosphere. And it's the German, the German to Oppenheim. But now there are two little girls there, you see. With keys flying from the top. It's a game this, in three heats of two. The Dutch and the Germans will go first. And they've got bears in cages. You see the two bears there? The Dutch bear and the German bear. Now before the bears can get out of the cage, I'll explain the game as we go along. On the whistle, the girls have to shit up the pole. Up they go. The Germans and the Dutch. When they get up there, they take on their own key, they race back down the court, and then they open up the bear's cage. Out comes the bear, carrying some glasses. In Doc of course, there's eight glasses on a tray. He's got to get those to the other end. But now you see, he has to walk on a roller. He's suspended from a wire above him, and he has to walk on the roller, keep his balance, keep the tins intact, and you'll see that the track is marked in beaches. It's a game with two elements of... <laughs> the, fl the flying bear. The Dutchman is all right. He's fairly tall. He's going to make it to the other end. But the Germans having a wee bit of trouble. Karl Heinz Trubbuck. He's eight feet. Can't hold the rope. Because any second we, we expect him to take off. He's holding the rope. But he can't do that. <laughs> the Dutchman's over to Oedekoy, he's like, get out of it. Let's have a look at the Germans. No. Now he's holding the rope and he can't do that. We want him to fly, give him a few jokes. Once they've got to the end, then as they get to the arrival line, there's a slot there. The girl puts the trays on the table, the game ends. He's got all four tins there. It's a game with two elements of scoring. That's Carl Heinz. Holland, 59 seconds. Hochfried, 59 seconds. That's fast. And Germany, 1 minute, 29 seconds. And Oppenheim, 1 minute and 29 seconds. So, our next two players who will play are Cosenza against Knokkenheist. He'll have a few jokes. Because I think the Italians might just give him a laugh here. Up they go. Met Walter Iedeler, de beer. Vroeger dacht men dat er alleen maar bruine beren waren en witte beren. Dat kun je zo ook eens zien voor de mensen die dan in kleding zitten. Maar je bent hier, je hebt altijd blauwe beren. En dan geef je dat wel. De Belgen zijn totaal inexhaustible. Put your skirt down. Up you go. The Italians and the Belgians in competition. There are more ways of skinning a cat if you can't climb a rope. That ball left there from Kadok is struggling a bit, but she's down. Now the Italians might give us a bit of fun. Francesco, where are you? <laughs> now with a bit of luck, you might just swing a bit. <laughs> That's the bell. He must be practicing for months, but Francesco here. I don't think he really knows what day it is yet. Be <laughs> 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 one! Back a minute. <laughs> you can imagine the, the conversation which is going on at the moment between those two. Would you believe that Francesco is the bear and Archangel is the girl? The Belgians have been quite a finish. <laughs> Kirby's flying ballet is the suggestion. The Italians are going to get it right. Well, he's enough of playing fun and having Look at him now, looking bombing. But he gave us a good laugh. And there's nothing to beat that in knockout. Oops. Best of best, 
Here you see the attachment there. You see how this is tempered. That poor little Italian girl, Archangel, is doing a fruit. But they've got it. We don't take part, by the way. Sir Dives missed this game. But the Italian... Belgium, 1 minute 22 seconds. 1 22. 22 seconds. And the Belgium. Italy, 1 minute 50 seconds. 1 minute 50. And Cosenza, 4 minutes 50 seconds. The fastest time, if you're interested, uh, is the Dutch in the first heat. Our next players are Riva San Vitale and Nui Sursen for Frankrijk. Nui Sursen on the right, Riva San Vitale on your left, the French and the Swiss. Yeah, the beer must be in the kooi. The bears aren't in the cages. Get the... It's the, the cage door is open. Now, uh, who's going to provide the fun here? The French on your left, the Swiss on your right. Oh, maybe the Swiss. Oh. <laughs> the Frenchman aviates. Oh, look at this. Roberto. Oh, this is too good. This is really smart. Oh, what a fast time! Oh, well, we don't care about him. He's too fast for pleasure. That's the Swiss of uh, Riva San Vitale. I want to see the Frenchman from Nuit. Nuit, of course, is a suburb of Paris. And I want to see him aviate. And, oh, come on! Oh, no, he's... They're mastering the game. They're not going to give us jokes. Bring back the Italian. No, two fast times there. The bekers must be on the plate, and now it is indeed afgefloten door Guido. Then we will even look at all the times. So, we have the time. Then, one minute and sixteen seconds. One minute sixteen. For France, sixteen seconds. The Italians and the Swiss playing jokers. Oh, look at this! Forty-four. Woo! Forty-four seconds. And of course they're playing the jokers, so they come into contention. Twelve points to pick up. Makes them twenty on the master scoreboard. The Dutch at the bottom with five, makes them twenty-four. Nui, pick up four. They're out of it, I think. Belgium, three points. At the top, knock. Three points. Three points. Germany, two points. Oppenheim. Oppenheim, two points. And Italy with the joker, two points. And the Italians with their joker, well out of it. At the moment of the lead, then the Dutch. But now you will see Edward Waring, eight times round the world, drives a Jaguar, accustomed to the lush life, finds himself in a Dodgeham car in the middle of Belgium. Commentator voor de BBC is misschien een van Engelands populairste commentatoren voor rugby, Eddie Waring. You came back from from a Wembley Cup. It was not the first, I suppose. No, no, I didn't quite a lot of Wembley, but this last final we had was such a great final. A lot of people here tonight and a lot of European people saw it and said what a great game it was. But it was a it's a great game, actually. It was your 22nd, I suppose. It was indeed. It was indeed. Good luck. My first. This is your first, perhaps your last, you never know. And the tegenstander that is uh, Frankrijk Naïs Jossijn met een leraar en lichamelijke opvoeding, Monique Schumer. Genoeg gepraat. Gennaro. Attention. Three, two, one. Right, off we go. Get after. Come, come now. Come on, we got we got she sticking in the corner. Right, off we go now. Right, get it, there we go. Are ah, you all right, money? All right, money. Are you stuck? Come on, come on. Come on, Bumpy. Come on, Bumpy. 
Get All right, we'll have a race, Molly. Come on, jam her in. We want now. We're doing all... Oh, there's a lot on that side. St. Ives, Cornwall and Great Britain. We want about three, I think. I'll let it come out of the corner. Right. Well, it's right to one to go. How many are we doing? And uh, er rest nog, toch nog altijd geloof ik, één ballon. Of voor zover ik het hier kan zien, want het is daar een hemelse drukte. <laughs> en die wedding schijnt nogal onder de indruk te zijn in ieder geval. Gennaro, Gennaro, the results for Great Britain. For, for Great Britain. And uh, for Uncle Eddie. Wait. Ah, het krijgt eens even, well. It was the 20, didn't it? It was the 20. <laughs> 18. St. Ice, 18 ballonnen. Over naar mij. <laughs>